let's transition into the next segment. What I want to talk about now is where Napoli is sitting at um, in the in the Classifica. You know, there's tattoos out there already that are people getting with the number three on it, you know. <laughs> so, you know, I think at this point, Napoli really does have the Scudetto wrapped up. It would have to be a colossal, like, they would have to completely choke at this point not oh, to win the yeah. Scudetto. But the fact that they're so far ahead this early, I would like to start talking about what match do we think that they're going to clinch and what match do we want them to clinch? So we're going to talk about that in a minute. But, you know, Milan won, Atalanta won. Nobody saw Inter dropping points to Sampdoria, but they did. They drew. Roma drew, and then Lazio lost. So you've got the teams that are underneath us. You've got three out of the five dropping points. And mm-hmm. it's not like... You know, that's going to continue to happen. And I don't see Napoli dropping points in City. Uh, I, I, I don't I don't know when it's going to happen. I, I really I, I don't feel like it's going to happen. When they go and play Juve and Torino, if Juve is actually in form and they're playing well, I can see them drop points then. But up until that point, and that's like on April 23rd. I I don't think it's going to happen. I think they're going to just keep winning. And if they keep winning and Inter and the other teams keep dropping points, this shit, this this is going to happen early, Mario. Like, it's going to happen early. Crazy. You know, and, you know, there's a lot of haters out there that are already saying this bullshit about, oh, well, City of Ah. This is the worst that City A has ever been. That's the only reason Napoli's winning and shit. You know, what a bunch of fucking crap, man. That shit's <laughs> pissing me off already. I don't I don't want to hear this shit. They're just trying to come up with some fucking excuse to try to take the joy away from Napolitani yep. and finally winning this Scudetto. Yep. Do they see that there's – think you mentioned it earlier. There's three teams in Champions League still. How often does – City yep. I have three teams sides. in the round of 16. How often yep. is that? Not very often. That's what I'm saying. So right now the magic number is 12. If Inter actually lost that game, they would have went from 13 to 11 in the magic number. And I'm waiting until that happens. Like the first match day where they drop two magic numbers, man, I'm going to be happy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait for that. So – just looking at the matches coming up, if yeah. you can remember them. I, I got my phone pulled up, so I can I can go over and real click. Let's do that. When do we think they're going to clinch? We'll talk about that first. I'm going to okay. go first, and I already know. I mean, I want it to be against Juve, and I'm hoping it is against Juve. That's it, point blank, period. So you think it is? And I want like, it to you be. You think it's yes. realistic? Well, who doesn't want it to be if it's a road game? (laughs) It would be very sweet. And the way that teams are playing, flip-flopping and shit, I can see it happening. Why not? Maybe it's destiny. So let's look at it from a realistic standpoint. I think that it is realistic for us to imagine that to happen. I do think it's realistic. Now, do would I pick that as the game that I think it's going to happen? I, I don't think so. Because I, I think that at some point, Napoli might drop a point. I mean, I just said they're not going to. But yeah. Contradicting yourself it is now. still possible. I mean, mm-hmm. it is possible for them to drop a point. But I don't think they are. And if they continue to win every single match, Inter still needs to drop some points, man. And Inter's schedule doesn't look favorable to do that. But they just drew to Sampdoria. So it's possible. It is possible. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's going to happen then. I honestly think that the most realistic match when it's going to happen is... Fiorentina? It, it's, it's three more match days after that against Fiorentina at it. Napoli. <laughs> it, it's okay. against Fiorentina at Napoli, right? Mm-hmm. And there was somebody out there on Twitter that posted an image 
that had like a prediction of when Napoli is actually going to get to that match day. It was a crazy looking graph. And it had Fiorentina match on there as the as the day when it could happen. Um, wow. So if I was a betting man, I would pick that match day, and I would be okay with that. Now I would rather, if it's a road game, it be in Torino, right? But yeah, could you imagine that against Fiorentina, the uh, the same team that basically knocked us out yeah. of that one season with 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 Cholito on our team too? What what if he scores? Fuck, score a hat trick against them. Do it right back. Yeah. That would be so nice. It's, it's Dude, destiny. It would, something's going to happen. It's gonna, Something's going to correlate for us, whether it's against Juve, whether it's against Fiorentina, something that matches something that's happened in the past that stopped us from, from uh, getting the Escudetto. I don't know. This whole season has been wacko. Nuts. Yeah. I mean, I, I do think it's going to happen in that match, and that is also the match that I want it to happen because I yeah. want it to be at home for the fans. And I want it to be in a match that has even more meaning than just clinching it against, say, like, if they were to clinch it against Udinese on the road, ah. I mean, there's not a real story. <laughs> there's nothing exciting about that, right? Right, right. Oh, but you know right. what? Eric and his boy are going to go to that game for sure, so that would be awesome for them. You know, Eric yeah, and cool. Dylan that live nearby. Yeah, yeah. Um, So that would be really cool for them if they want it on the road in Udine. And then – I don't know. Winning it at home against Salernitana, it is a derby, but it's Salernitana. I mean, what's – What are you going to just park the bus again? Ah, damn it. And then after that, I think it's it's over. I think by the time the Fiorentina match comes, it's going to have happened already or it's going to happen then. So I don't think into the other matches, which is four left until the end of the season, that it mm -hmm. will. So right now, I, I – Fiorentina – for what I think is going to happen and what I want to happen, but you're saying you're saying Juve, huh? On the road. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll see how it plays out then. Once we get to 500 subscribers, hopefully by the end of the season, or even earlier, I'm going to do everything I can to get a signed kit from one of the players, and maybe I'll do a poll out there to see who people prefer, and uh, and do whatever I can if I got to like. Sit outside Castle Viterno at, you know, freaking midnight to try to get a kit signed for somebody. I'm gonna do everything I can to do that. You think that's pretty cool, man? <laughs> Heck yeah! It's gonna either be Cavada yeah. or Osman though if you're gonna do both. So just be ready for that. So good luck. I mean, you've done I it. Mean, you've done it plenty of times for us and other people. I mean, but, shit, you know, I mean, shit. What, it's gonna what get tougher get and tougher both? now nowadays. Yeah, do both. What if I get both? Huh? People, people know who you are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know, man. We'll see what happens there. It would be really nice to be able to do that for somebody. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do my best. But I, I want to see 500 subscribers to our channel before we actually That's make that happen. Now. I'm gonna go. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go try to get the. I'm gonna go try to get the kit, you know, here soon, and then I'll hold it until we get to 500. So if you're listening out there, and you haven't subscribed yet, just like Dom like from Napoli button. Talk says. Just like Dom from Napoli Talk says, man, I love Dom. What are you doing, bro? Sorry, Dom. I got to use it, man. <laughs> I love it when he says that, man. All right. And then a uh, little bit about the transfer market. So there hasn't really been a whole lot to talk about, but I have seen some things out there that are just starting to get into the possibilities of Cavada and Ozyman extending during the summer. The last thing that I saw is Cavada's agent did a little interview with somebody and just talked about, you know, the fact that Cavada loves playing at Napoli. He would never play for any other team in Italy. So that's a good sign. And he just wants to focus on the Scudetto in the Champions League. Uh, and then OC Men has said that he loves playing in Napoli. So there's not a whole lot to talk about there other than let's just not talk about it too much and let them focus. And then in the summer, get the extensions done right that's the plan and then you know it was just before valentine's day so they did play with the uh smooch kit for hopefully the last time do you think that there's going to be any other kits yeah, that of course. ADL oh, yeah. puts out there this year of course come on that's an easy question of course going to be some other kits 
too easy. What do you? Uh, I don't know what, what it's going to be, and nor do I really care, to be honest. I really this, this Napoli drip oh. shit. I'm not worried about it. I'm worried about Scudetto and UCL, man. They can come out with whatever the hell they want, make their money. Just next season, oh. Armani, Zeneba. We need something that's not just local. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of this drip. Bye. Bye, Bia. Done. Well, let's let's just talk a little bit about you know different ideas that maybe like what about Easter? If they were to do an Easter kit, what do you think ABA will put on, on that one? I think I'm putting a damn <laughs> on that fucking thing. I'm telling you, what it's about be something like, ridiculous like that? What about like a whole bunch of Easter eggs all over the kit or something like the bats for the Halloween? I wouldn't doubt that either, and I wouldn't wear that either. <laughs> <laughs> the bats from the Halloween were you really know, cool, though. Really cool. You like the you like the Halloween one with the bats? Yeah, that was dope. That was the last actual good one, in my opinion. These last two have been mediocre, like the reindeer one and, and the kissing one. And it's just, it's just funny. That's all it is. It's funny. Nothing to take serious, you know. It's just troll. You do, th- but you do think that there's going to be at least one yes. more special yes. edition kit that comes there's out. Something up their sleeve. They got something else. They ain't done just yet. Yeah, they go with the, yeah, with I the think fucking so bang. Mm-hmm. I think so too. <laughs> do you think they're going to try to do anything with Maradona again? No, they're they're not allowed to. They're what do you mean they're not allowed to? Maradona and the family won't allow them to. Lawsuit. Can't do it. Oh, really? Oh, that's Nothing over? Happened. Oh, yeah, shit, that's I didn't they're see done. that. No more Maradona heads. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no more using his dude, name man, for, but, for money. Dude, that Maradona kit with Capo, though, the, the Argentina-style kit. Yeah, that was cool. That the uh, stripes was a cool. That, the one, oh, the man. one with the uh, with the squigglies and his whole face on it was a yeah. little much. You know. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna wear it eventually on one of these podcasts though because I have it. I have to switch it up almost every podcast, but it's not the best. What color, what color did you get? The white one. Oh, the white one. Yeah, I yeah. I bought the white one too. It's um, I don't know where I got that thing right now, but I did get it. I think white was the best just because with the with the black inlines, it went best with it. So. Yeah, like yeah, if there was a little what, what Napoli drip comes out next because I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't give a damn either. I want to see two well, trophies like, be lifted this season. What, what, what about the, what about the kit you're wearing right now, man? That jersey looked nice. Why don't you, why don't you yeah. show that off a little bit? Show off. A little I like bit. this one. Can't really see much, but yeah, it's tucked in like I'm blue a fucking Napoli player myself. Yeah, the blue camo. <laughs> yeah, blue camo. I like that one, man, but. Yeah, Kappa made some cool You're kids. right, man. It, it would I just don't for like me, this, this big ass red box right here, man. That's the only thing I, yeah. I can't like. I mean, I can just sit right there and like that. <laughs> Cut it out. You know, for, for me, man, I, I when you were saying something about it, you know, stop with the, the producing of the kits that d- make it only available to you know. Nah, but I didn't mean that. I was, just, I was just I was being funny, you know. Like keep keep making them. I mean, it's making making ADL money. We haven't been in debt since 2019, like. Or chilling. If if you want to keep doing, I'm just saying. Me personally, I don't give a damn unless it actually looks good. But if it's like some some more trolling shit, man, count me out. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that'll do it, Mario. Uh, Napoli Nation. This is uh, episode six. We're gonna close it up. And Forza, Napoli, sempre. sempre.